My name is Chris Lopez. I'm a senior service technician, uh, field maintenance. Today we're going to talk about a Quincy reciprocating air compressor, go over basic oil change and maintenance. Every 90 days you're going to do an oil filter change, oil, you're going to inspect your belts, you're going to check your tank drain, make sure that's working properly, and you also have unloaded diaphragms which would need to be inspected also. All right, first step is you're gonna kill power. That way the machine is off. It's locked out, tagged out for safety. You're also gonna close the tank valve to isolate system pressure. Now we're gonna start our oil change, and by doing that, we're gonna remove the oil dipstick and place that to the side. And now we're gonna drain the old oil, loosen the cap, place your bucket underneath, and drain that old oil out. After you drain the, the crankcase of the oil, you want to change the oil filter and drain the oil pump down. The next step is to inspect your unloaded diaphragms. By doing that, you would remote, remove the six head screws here, cap screws. Now that the screws are off, we're going to remove the unloaded tower cap and inspect the unloaded diaphragm. Looking at the diaphragm, you're checking for any cracks that are visible, which would require a replacement. Okay, now we're going to install a new unloaded diaphragm. Re replace the six bolts, make sure it's all wrench tight, and replace the quarter inch control line. Also want to make sure that your two safeties are working. You have your intercooler safety and make sure that you can manually open it. You also want to make sure that your tank safety will manually open and close. Next step is you want to blow out the intercooler to make sure it's free of any loose dust and dirt. You're going to add oil, which is a Quinsip oil, the manufacturer's recommended oil. You're going to fill up the oil level until you get to the high and low level point on the dipstick. You're also going to check the air filter, make sure it's clean, remove the cover, inspect, make sure there's no rust, that you can blow it out or replace it. The last step is to fill out the maintenance record. This will show you the maintenance that you performed and also record the next PM that's going to be necessary. To assure maximum performance and life in your compressor, you want to make sure that maintenance is being followed. This could prevent a costly breakdown for you and your factory.